become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I thought I would talk about one of Vince Gironda's most interesting and result producing muscle building courses, which he called a muscle has four sides. This course being a variation of a split routine is unlike any that you have ever tried. The philosophy behind this course is that according to Vince, in order to build the most muscle size in the shortest time possible, one needs to perform different exercises that develop different parts of any given muscle. Combine this workout with correct workout frequency and nutrition, and according to Vince, your muscles will grow at its fastest possible rate. Today I'm going to go through the general workout and specifically detail the chest and back routine as well as briefly go through the diet that should be used in conjunction with this workout. And this course will be available on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com. I truly hope you enjoy this video. Now before going through the course in detail, I need to start off with some of the rules that Vince placed for this particular course. And that is number one, each muscle will be exercised using four different exercises, hence the name of the course, A Muscle Has Four Sides. Number two, you are to perform each exercise for only one set of 12 reps, or if it's calf training, 20 reps, right? And so this means that you're doing four exercises per muscle group, and therefore you are performing a total of four sets per muscle group. But these four sets mean that you are only doing one set of each exercise listed. Uh, this actually means having to set up all equipment for each exercise prior to starting because num rule number three is no rest between exercises. That's right. You have everything set up, laid, laid out in the gym, and you go through each exercise with as little rest as possible. Um, number four is to perform voluntary intermuscular contraction on each exercise. That is to tense the muscle voluntarily at the top of each movement. The principle here, according to Vince, is to perform the most amount of work in the shortest time possible to, the, to maximize the intensity of the workout. And this will obviously lead to, according to Vince, accelerated muscle growth. And this actually is very, very similar in the principle to Mike Mentz's um, HIT, uh, high intensity, in that you're only doing one set basically to absolute, to, to absolute highest uh, maximum intensity. It's not too failure like Mike Mentz's, but it's quite similar, right? Uh, number five is to perform the workout twice each day. You heard it right, twice each day. So you do it four hours apart, ideally one in the morning then uh, have a meal or something, and then you do um, the second workout, or be it the second workout, you would use less poundage uh, than in the first workout. Now, following, I give the routine for the course, a muscle has four sides. The body parts will be worked in the following order. On day one, you perform your back, chest, and shoulders workout. You do it twice on that day, four hours apart. And that goes for all the other days. You do it twice. You do the workout twice, four hours apart. Day two is triceps, biceps, and forearms, which is an awesome day. It's just arms. Day three is thighs and calves. And on day four, you repeat day one. Day five, you repeat day two. And day six, you repeat day three. And you rest on day seven. And Vince Geronda stresses that there is absolutely no ab work done during this routine because it shocks, according to Vince at least, it shocks the solar plexus and this will slow down your gains. These are Vince's rules, not mine. Now as promised, I'm actually going to detail the back and chest routine and um, basically we've got four exercises for the back and I'm going to read straight off from the booklet which I own and I've scanned for you. Exercise one, the low pulley pull. This exercise works two different parts of the lats, the terrace major, and the section of the traps between the shoulder blades. Use a low pulley machine with the pulley 16 inches or approximately 40 centimeters off the floor and try about 125 to 150 pounds. So something like a 50 
to 60 kilos. Pull the bar from a full stretch position head down. Now, by that he means you actually want to, um, you want to have your head down means that you really want to let your arms extend overhead and pull it, let it pull you all the way parallel to the floor. Vince had a special way of performing any kind of pull in that respect. He allowed a full stretch like you've seen Arnold in Pumping Iron, etc, etc. Basically, to, to your arms are fully stretched and your head is between your arms, basically. That's what he means by position head down. Until it touches just, uh, and, and sorry, you pull the bar from a full stretch position head down until it touches just under the low pec line. That is, you pull the bar down to your low pec line. Keep your elbows out wide and at the completion of the movement, your chest should be high and the shoulders drawn down and back as you can see at the uh, contracted phase of the movement. Here we have the image, Vince Gironda performing the low pulley pull. Exercise two is a very interesting one that I've never heard of before and that is the Reeves alternate rowing exercise. Um, this exercise develops the terrace muscles for width across the back, you know, for that cobra shape <laughs> at the back. Lay two dumbbells on the floor with the handles parallel to each other. As the name implies, you perform al alternate bent over rowing motions with those dumbbells, pulling one dumbbell up with the elbow pointed straight out to the side. And you can see that Vince Gironda is actually doing that very well. And as you, lo as you lower the other dumbbell, so it's, sim you know, as you bring one dumbbell up, you simultaneously bring the other one down. And it looks like an alternate rowing motion. You must use intermuscular contraction, that is keep all the muscles used tense throughout the exercise, especially at the top contraction point of the motion. Continuing with the back routine, we have exercises three and four, the low pulley rowing from racing dive position. I mean, Vince Gironda really had some eccentric exercises. As you can see in the image, Vince Gironda is standing like as if he was in a in a racing <laughs> i guess i guess that's what he calls the racing dive position right okay this exercise reading from the book again this exercise will give you that long lat sweep use the same pulley machine with the pulley 16 inches or 40 centimeters off the floor that you used in exercise one from a standing position bend over and crouch in a racing dive position as shown in the diagram the thighs and abdomen, sorry, the thighs and abdomen must be kept touching, and you can see that Vince Gironda is actually doing that throughout the entire movement. Grasp the 16 inch wide bar, so 40 centimeters bar wide, and drop your head down between your arms. Once again, as I said earlier, this is the way that Vince liked to do all his rowing motions. He really believed in a full range of motion. Pull the bar back to just under the low pec line once again, at the same time squeezing your shoulders back and down to contract the lats. Keep your elbows out wide throughout the movement, as you can see again in the diagram. Finally, exercise four, two dumbbell rowing, another very interesting exercise performed here by Vince Gironda. Lying face down on a bench that is 20 inches high or 50 centimeters off the floor. A high bench. They don't have those nowadays. This exercise will thicken your upper back and bring out all the muscular detail. And I have to agree here with Vince. You can see that at the top of the contraction, he's contracting everything. I mean, he's even hyper, um, you know, doing some hyper extension there on his back, I think. And so um, this, this kind of motion is really going to bring out all the detail. And definitely, I agree with uh, Vince here. Place two heavy dumbbells on the floor under a flat bench 20 inches high, 50 centimeters off the floor. With the handles parallel, lie on your stomach on the bench and pull both dumbbells up as high as you can, keeping your elbows out wide to the sides as Vince is doing. As you pull the dumbbells up, lift your head and legs up and arch your back. Again, this is gonna really bring out all the motion and this is what he means by complete intermuscular contraction voluntarily contract at the top position um, yeah between each repetition lay the dumbbells on the floor and relax your grip use all the weight possible and still get a complete movement 
that is the end of the back routine. Each exercise performed only one set each. Now to the chest routine. And as you can see, the um, information for each particular body part is quite detailed, which um, is why I'm only giving the back and chest routine because otherwise this video would take about an hour. Anyway, the first exercise, barbell press to the neck. Again, we're gonna use four exercises for the chest routine. First is barbell press to the neck. This exercise develops the pectoralis minor. Perform bench presses to the base of the neck with a medium wide hand spacing as shown in the photograph. Keep knees together and lower legs crossed throughout to isolate the movement as Vince is doing. Exercise two, V-bar dips. This exercise will give you that lower and outer pec line. Use a 32 inch wide grip facing the V-bar Sorry, facing the V of the bar as Vince is doing in the photo. Keep your chin on your chest, shoulders rounded forward and elbows out wide to the sides throughout the movement. You know, it's, it's, well, it's really well shown here in these photos. That's why I really like this um, booklet. Point your toes down, keep them vertically below your face and dip down as low as possible. Then press up, maintaining your position. This is a difficult manner to dip, and if you can't make 12 full reps, push up the bottom 10 or 12 inches only until 12 counts are completed. So you basically cheat a little bit off the bottom by bouncing off the bottom. Exercise three, again, all of these are only performed for one set each. The incline dumbbell press for the pectoralis minor, lying on the incline bench, Press two dumbbells up until all four dumbbell dumbbells touch together at the completion of the movement. It's basically almost like a bent arm incline dumbbell fly. Uh, the elbows must be kept out to the sides and the palms facing each other. And you can see his elbows are bent. And exercise four, modified bench laterals on a flat bench. This exercise is, is for the middle pectoral perform laterals with the palms facing each other while lying on a flat bench use a weight heavy enough that you have to bend your elbows and perform a movement halfway between a full lateral and a press that is the four exercises for the chest again each exercise performed for one set each now the diet what is it that you should eat when performing the um, Muscle Has Four Sides course that Vince Gironda uh, promoted. Well, he actually recommends, again, this is reading straight from his book. The following is your nutritional program to go with this exercise program. It will provide the materials your body needs to grow at the fastest possible rate. Every three hours, drink six raw eggs, beaten first in a blender, then mixed with half and half, which is just half cream, half milk. Do not mix milk in the blender. With this drink, take 10 liver tablets, three amino lysine tablets, one vitamin E, one vitamin B complex, one chelated mineral, one uh, para amino benzoic acid or PABA tablet, and one zinc tablet. The remainder of your diet is rare steak and salad with vinegar and herb dressing. Take 30 kelp tablets and 1.5 grams of vitamin C sped, spread throughout the day. Damn. That's a lot of supplements. Um, he also says the eggs and supplements represent a heavy schedule. Yes, they do. And you may have to work into it slowly to have your body accept it. Every three to five days, if you feel weak, eat a total carbohydrate meal to replenish your glycogen reserves. And essentially, what we are dealing here with is what I call the 24 eggs a day or two dozen eggs a day diet. Um, it's just very similar to the 36 eggs a day diet um, except you're only using two dozen eggs a day and just like the 36 eggs a day diet the 24 eggs a day diet um, incorporates steak as the meals for lunch and dinner and again because it is as as a Vince Gironda states himself it's a very heavy schedule and so you should introduce this diet gradually over time it's very difficult to just step right into it you have to do it slowly. And I have done videos in the past on incorporating the egg diet slowly. And I recommend you watch that video if you want to try this routine with the diet. Now, if you'd like to learn all the exercises in great detail 
in this course, A Muscle Has Four Sides by Vince Gironda. I recommend you purchase A Muscle Has Four Sides from my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com, where you'll also find other titles from Vince Gironda, such as The Wild Physique and Vince Gironda's Blueprint for the Bodybuilder, all available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on Vince Gironda's course, A Muscle Has Four Sides, one of Vince's most interesting and result producing muscle building courses. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm, leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, you can donate via PayPal or become a patron and you can visit my website for this title as well as others by Vince Gironda and many other authors from the Golden, Silver and, and Bronze Era of Bodybuilding. If you'd like, you can also support my work by donating your books and magazines. I am very happy to accept them. Just email me. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Book and bye for now. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.